All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a very special Hashtag United video. I'm joined with my brother, Seb. We're back. We're we back. Are, we're back, and it's a special one, Seb. This is very special, Spam. If you watch my channel, you know that I and Seb also like to review kits. Well, this is your chance to review our work because we're revealing our brand new Hummel kits in this video. If you aren't aware already, which you should be if you follow us on social media, we recently signed a brand new five-year deal with Hummel as our new kit provider. I'm wearing some of our training gear right now. Uh, this is actually our staff polo shirt, if you're wondering. Um, and we're going to be revealing our home and away kits today for the next coming season. And there's some some interesting kits you might not expect to come from us. I think some some snazzy numbers. There's some there's some special stuff. I think it's going to turn some heads. Yeah, that's the idea. That's what we do. Uh, we're also going to reveal sort of our new sponsors. Plural. Multiple. Yeah. So it's definitely worth sticking around for. Also, guys, there's also a chance to win a next gen console as well. So definitely stick around to the end of the video. Also, I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you guys we're going to be streaming a lot of our preseason. Obviously, we're getting into preseason now as we get ready for the start of the proper season. So make sure you subscribe and you stay up to date for all that good stuff coming on the YouTube channel soon. For me, Seb, this is like a pretty cool thing we get to do every so often at this club is unveil our kits because not only have we been really fortunate to have some amazing kits over the years, we actually get to design them ourselves to an extent with you know industry-leading experts, which we've been able to do at Hummel. And it's just an amazing thing to do, isn't it? it? The whole process is just so much fun. It just is so much fun. And then this bit is the bit we actually get to show people because we've, we've seen, or how many kit designs have we seen now? But we've seen these designs for so long and we have to keep it so secret, even from people inside the club, to keep things hush-hush. And you like want to be excited. Every time you see the boys, you're like, do you want to see the kit? you want to see the kit? you want to show the kit? <laughs> you can't show the kit. But today we can show the kit. I'm yeah, excited. The kit, day. sir. Plural. Yeah, and also like... Because you know, we're at our own club, our own very short history. We don't have this, you know, like canon of history of like colour scheme to things mm. we have to stick to so we can be a bit creative, which is a bit of a clue. Maybe it's what we've done here on both kits, home and away, actually. Uh, so, yeah, it's a real privilege to get to do it. And again, big thanks to Hummel for the support they've shown us, not just for one, two, three or four, but for five years Massive. at this football club, which is actually how long we've been around now. It's going to double our tenure, isn't it? Yeah, as and, a club. and we obviously want to be around for a lot longer than that. Oh, yeah. And I, I love that Hummel have, have sort of, you know, shown that commitment to us. It's fantastic. Before we actually show you the kit designs themselves, we want to show you a little bit more about the process that goes into it, because this is the process that started many months ago. Um, obviously, Seb, you're a huge part. You're the main part of, of actually getting us these deals and working with people like Hummel. And so obviously we went and have meetings and stuff. And it's something that I'd actually love to uh, explain to these guys in more detail, maybe in another video. Mm. We talk about the actual contractual part of these deals, how they come about, what the finances look like. We've already talked about wanting to be transparent. Mm. And I think it'd be quite interesting. Yeah, maybe let us know if you want to hear more about that. There's obviously some things we can and can't share, but I think it would be really interesting to... That's one of the things we do get to do that other clubs don't spend, is we get to show the inner workings behind the scenes. Maybe in a future chat, maybe on your channel, on this channel, maybe in the documentary. Uh, who knows? It is a big deal to the club. Yes, like, Not is. just in terms of, of length, but in terms of the finances as well, is which is huge. One, yeah. uh, so it's a real privilege, again, to get to do it with these guys. Um, five years, as we've mentioned... We've got home, away, and a, a, for the first time ever, a sort of third kit, which mm. is going to be our esports kit. So yes. normally our away kit has been our esports kit as well. But Hum have said, no, you know what? We want you to have a home and away for football, and then a bespoke esports shirt as well. So all these shirts are bespoke. They've all been designed with and for us. Um, by the you know, people that design all the leading Hummel shirts, you know. And how like, cool is it to go in those offices and see yeah. some of the designs of the kits they've made over the years? But not just that, like some of the kits that we've admired, some of the ones we've talked about on your channel, but then to find out more about the reasoning how they came about. And like, you always know with some of these great kit designs that there's a bit of meaning behind it. But when you actually see and learn about the people who have done it, it does make it feel just extra yeah. special. No, I agree. There's a lot of brand synergy between Hashtag and Hummel yeah. as well. When we did our kit review for the Premier League kits last year, we both spoke very favourably about the Everton kit, which is Hummel, yes. of course. Yeah. We didn't know we were going to be was, doing a deal with Hummel at that point. It, yeah. That's 100% genuine, believe me, guys. Um, but also Southampton have become Hummel since then as well. Yep. And there's lots of other teams in England and all around the world that are Hummel, of course, as well. Uh, Danish brand. Uh, actually, originally uh, created in Germany, which is where the word Hummel comes from. If you don't know, Hummel is the the, the German word for bumblebee, which is why the Hummel logo here uh, does actually, is actually a bee. It's something that I've known Hummel for most of my life, but I never actually put two and two together. That was a bee before. That was new to me. The reason they have a bumblebee as their logo is because anatomically and scientifically, bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly. They don't use their wings in the same way that other you know, winged creatures Science do. Science can't allow for it. No, but they just fly anyway. <laughs> and no one knows why. No one knows how. <laughs> They're just up there, flying around, buzzing everywhere. I think apparently the reason I've heard reliably research that you just did off, off the camera <laughs> is that the, the bees 
Was it their wings go well, this way instead of this way? It's something, it's something to way. do with the shape and a vortex they create. It's yeah. like that scientifically, there's no way that should allow a bumblebee to fly, yet it does. Uh, so it's just one of those things. And again, like I remember when we were being told about this in the Hummel office, and we both sort of looked at each other, and we just love that synergy yeah. between the background of our club, where we've been, where we are now, where we're hopefully going. We shouldn't, like many people say we shouldn't be able to do what we're doing either. But yet, here we are flying around as well, just like a bumblebee. So it's a great link. That's the reason that Hummel like that that story as well. And it's the reason we think it appeals to hashtag as well. Absolutely. And listen, you didn't know today you were going to learn about bees. So you don't need that. It's what we anymore. do here. We educate. Yeah. Okay. So one more thing to explain before we reveal the kits. Uh, esports kit, we're not going to reveal today. That's going to come out at a later date because that's more in keeping with the esports season. Yeah. Yep. So you'll see that post near, E World Cup. Exactly. Hopefully, you know, Tom will be there. We've got the playoffs coming up any day now. And uh, hopefully, you have a successful season before we unveil the new esports kit. As part of this deal, Seb, we've also got to talk about the fact that all of our sort of training gear is all going to be for sale as well. Yep. And we've got a whole new leisure wear range coming, which is all Eek. new. No one's seen it yet. And there's some unbelievable items in there, stuff we've never sold before. Yeah, this is this is sort of a real groundbreaking thing because it's something we get asked an awful lot. You know, and not only just people asking when are the new kits coming out, what the new kit's going to look like, but asking can they have more items of hashtag merch, if you like. And the answer now is yes, both in the training wear stuff that you see the players in and also stuff for off the pitch. So it's just a very exciting thing that we're able to do, hopefully to give more back to you guys um, and allow for ways for you to support the club because it's deals like Hummel and people like Hummel that invest in the club that allow everything to be possible. So all of, the, all of those of you that do ask, how can we support the club more? Um, this will be ways. Get involved, represent the club, whether it's the kit, ledge wear, whatever, everything helps to represent uh, the tags. Also, I'll say one thing, right? I go to these World Cup games now, yeah? And I see all these people walking around in these England shirts from 15, 20 years ago. Mm. And I'm thinking like, when that Retro World Cup finished, <laughs> no one was buying those like 10 pound England shirts. Yeah. And now they're probably worth like five, six times oh, that. I tried to buy one last night. It's like 170 exactly. quid for some of the old kids. Imagine what the future, these shirts will be worth in the future. This hashtag range well, in 20 years when we've won the Champions League. All yeah, these things. true, true, true. Imagine what the, the, the non-league range. Now. The non-league range will be worth millions. But, but not just that. Like, we laughed, at, we, we talked about one of the old kits with the uh, Nintendo logo on the front, the sponsorship, yeah. right? I do think, well, we're going to talk a bit more about this later, and I think that's one thing you guys are definitely going to stay tuned for, is something we're doing with one of our sponsors this year, which could definitely, definitely become a bit of a collector's We're making item. future collector's items. We're making history. Yeah. With that in mind, should we unveil, starting off with the home kit, yes. the men's home kit specifically, we're going to unveil. We're going to, we've got a slight difference on the women's kit, which you're going to see in yes. the, in also in this video. Let's take a look at the first ever Hummel hashtag United men's home shirt for the 2021-2022 season. There you have it. This is the very lovely brand new hashtag United shirt. I'm a big fan of it. Home shirt, of course. The first thing to talk about is the fact that we've we've flipped the script with the yellow and blue. We've gone back to primarily blue with the yellow detailing, which we did have a few years ago as we well. Did. And that's something that we've allowed ourselves the freedom to do, go back and forth between you know main colour being yellow and main colour being blue. The colour scheme is yellow and blue, but you never know what way it's going to end up. We keep I, you on I your like, toes. I like, I like messing around with that a little bit because... I love the yellow as hashtag. It feels like that's a real color of ours. But then I, I love the blue being sort of, there's so much more natural you can do with the blue. So keeping it a bit fresh is, is fun to do. So you've seen some of our players modeling the shirts. Now you can see Seb and I modeling the shirts as well. It's worth saying those photo shoots that we had to do to, to create the assets for this. It was all obviously under COVID guidelines shot a few months ago. So we only had a couple of shirts. We can only do it with a couple of players, but hopefully you're enjoying the imagery. Shout out to Hummel for putting that photo shoot together. Let's work our way through this, this shirt. Um, we'll go in between seven First lines. Of all, it, how glorious does it, it feel? It feels great. It feels like silk on my skin. I want to play football now. I, I actually want to get the boots back out. And I'm ready. Like, as yes. long as there's no offsides, we're fine. It's got that performance element to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we can move it in has. it. It really has. I remember when we first put the West Ham shirt on, you talked about how soft the fabric was. This is this is up there now. This is right, right up there. The feel is just delightful. There's a couple of things that are jumping off the page or the screen right now we've got to talk about. We've got to talk about let's it. Let's work our way through them. First of all, these are called chevrons. They are very famous in the Hummel tradition. All Hummel kits have them. It's delighted that we've got them on our kits now. I've always been a fan of them, genuinely. Obviously, we've got the hashtag badge there. We've got the Hummel badge next to us there. Something we've always talked about with kits is colour coordination. Is it where possible, can you get a sponsor that works and doesn't take away from that? Our sponsor does match, uh, but it's not... What is it? What is it, Ben? Should we tell them? Let's tell them. Well, obviously, you know what this is. I don't even know if you can see it right now because of my microphone, but you can see it on Seb. It's a QR code. Okay, why is it a QR code? 
First of all, I where think does it, it go? I think it looks pretty cool. Second of all, if I do this, I'm pretty sure you can scan me right now. As long as my I don't know if my microphone's blocking the shot, but as long as when you get your hands on these shirts, guys, as long as you hold it firm, it's 100 scannable. You can literally just hold your phone up to an image of the kit as long as it's flat. Obviously, if you're flapping about and whatnot, and it's moving or you've got something in the way like I do now, it's not going to work. But it is a working QR code. Why? Well, we have a brand new sponsor, Seb. We do. Club sponsor for the home kits and away kits, men's kits. But we can't talk about them yet. It's top secret because the actual sponsor is not... Um, launched. It's not launched. But the actual... Whatever is sponsoring us, yes. whoever is sponsoring us, is not launched yet. We have to be very careful of our words here because we've signed NDAs. We do. we do. Like, and that's why. But we're really happy the way we got to do this. Like, Seb, you're gonna love it. So I can tell you, Seb had the idea. I'll be honest. It was Seb's idea um, when this opportunity came up, and we, we almost sort of waited for a way that we could use this technique. And this came around, and it was perfect. The idea is that basically, right now, if you scan this, it will take you somewhere. If you scan this QR code, it'll take you to a website which has got some content already, and it's going to keep having content added to it. Exactly, there's going to be clues on there, slowly giving you a little bit of a clue towards what our sponsor is until we can officially talk about it. But to incentivize you guys, if you do go there um, and you think you figure it out from using the clues, which will start to give you little tips along the way, you can win prizes. First of all, if you tweet us when you think you know what the sponsor is, it'll be amazed if anyone gets it because it's a brand new thing. You never know, we've got some clever fans out there. Yeah. Um, if you tweet us, then you get it right. We'll make sure you get a bonus little prize. But also, if you sign up, uh, there's an email address uh, entry mechanic you can do on that website to, to get, make sure you get updated of any news about the new sponsor. Um, if you sign up to that, we're going to choose some of you to win a next-gen console. So that's a great incentive to get involved. And obviously, if you're a hashtag fan, you should want to know who's sponsoring us. Oh, absolutely. And it's decent. It's a decent sponsor. It's something that's very fitting for the community, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Very relevant to what hashtag is and what hashtag is involved in. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. That's all yeah, I can say. Exactly. I've said too much. That's there. a clue in I've itself. Said too that much. should be on the website. It's never been done before. No, exactly. Yeah, this is why we love it. And now it can't be undone. <laughs> right? That's what we do at hashtag. That's what we do first, right? There's never there's been football kits with QR codes on of course, before. Of course, of course. But there's never been a football kit with a QR code as the main sponsor. Yeah. Right? It's not been done before. So we do like to do that. It's going to be break, breaking ground. We will be also updating the shirt throughout the year. Oh, yes, of course. With... The actual sponsor. Once the sponsor is launched, the logo will change. Which means this kit that is on sale for available pre-order for sale. There's a website link in the description where you can go and pre-order it right now. So this kit that is available for you guys to order right now will not be around forever. No. There's going to be a limited number of this QR code kit available, which I hope may become like that Fiorentina kit we before we talked about. Yeah. A bit of a collector's item because it's a world's first. And I think if there's a club that's going to do a world's first, yeah, sure, we like to do a few of those. There's loads of clubs that have done world first. But QR code, digital, online, that feels very hashtag, right? It does, it does. So this feels like we're the right people to do this. And it is really cool, I think. I think you guys are going to get involved in it. So this particular kit will be being updated throughout the year. So this one that's available right now is going to become a bit of a collector's item. Essentially, the players are going to wear the shirt. The, the men, the men's team will wear this shirt. It's our home shirt until that sponsor becomes public knowledge. And at which point the shirt will change. So, you know, you, you could buy both if you want. You could buy this one. You could hold out for the next one. But I think Seb's completely right to say this is a collector's item. No one's done it before. You know, and it will always be the first. So I think that you should get your hands on it, guys, if you can. Check out the link in the description. See what's available. But generally, you've also got the hashtag patterning in the yeah. background. So it's a little bit subtle. Not forget but if you look, the... yeah, we've got up the tags on the back. So previous shirts we had, don't forget the hashtag on the back. Now we have up the tags, which has become obviously our new sort of slogan and mantra. The background of the shirt does have the sort of checkered hashtag design, which again, like our last shirt, it's a bit subtle, but you can see it. You can appreciate it if you look hard enough. I really like the blue. Also really happy. This is a return to our actual yellow. Yes. You know, the last kit, we love the last kit, but this is actually closer to our true hashtag deeper. If you look at the badge, which obviously yep. is set colours as always been, this yellow is identical to it, you know, which is something that's really important to me. And it's, cr it's across the kit. Not only is it there, it's on the Hummel badge, which is in our colour, and the QR code in our colour. So clearly, I'm a fan of this kit. Let us know in the comments below if you love it and if you're going to get one yourself in the link in the description. So this is the men's home shirt. Now we're going to unveil the men's away shirt. So Seb, this is a new away shirt and it's completely brand new. Colouring is completely different. We've never done a shirt like this before. It is obviously a white away shirt, but with this beautiful black 
detailing, also with the yellow and blue present in his what we're calling sort of lightning strike design that not only goes down the shirt, continues down the shorts, which I love. We've never done that before. I know. We've never had a design that continues through. We've always sort of just... Well, we, no, we haven't actually. We haven't had something that has a design that goes all the way through like yeah. that. It is really funky. I really like it. It is a brand new uh, kind of colour scheme that, that Hummel... Was, suggested to us basically well, this is the thing isn't it when we, it. when we were going to have the third kit for the first time ever we've obviously have our yellow and blue which we spoke about we've got sort of the black and purple which we spoke about but when we have a third kit we've got like what what are we going to do with it it's a completely blank um canvas, canvas. Yeah. yeah hopefully it's not too much of a spoiler but we can reveal the black and purple color scheme is going to continue to survive there. in the esports shirt yep. so we haven't lost it it's just it's always been an esports coloring has been yeah. that our away team sort of borrowed well now we have a new color for our away kit it looks like this and i'm showing it to you here as well because you've got the qr code on here so you can see one behind seb right now there's a different sponsor on there so let's talk about them so that is actually our women's kit so seb our women's team is sponsored by the restaurant chain fridays yes and massive shout out to fridays because not only are they sponsoring us as a club the sponsor is specifically our women's team, our first ever specifically women's team sponsor. They're getting behind women's football, just like we are. Massive shout out to Fridays. Yeah, they're going to be doing an awful lot in women's football. Uh, and it is fantastic because we just can't kick on in the way we want to kick on without the support of people like Fridays in the women's football team. Because it does, it's an area of sport that needs a lot of investment. But I am so excited about what the future of women's football has in general, but specifically our women's football team. I'm yeah. so, so excited about where that can go. Yeah. And it's great to have our own dedicated sponsor for them now. There's a lot more stuff we're going to do with Fridays actually at the restaurant. There's one down the road from our stadium, which is amazing. So it's going to be lots and lots of good times we're all going to be having as a club at Fridays. And yeah, very grateful for having them on board. Um, and I think the new kit looks awesome as well. Yeah, I, I mean, let's it. talk about it some more. So again, I'm holding the the men's shirt. The difference is just the sponsor. The shirt's exactly the same, obviously. Um, this detailing I love, Seb. You've got the blue, which is our blue from our home kit, which we're wearing. You've got the sort of gold yellow, which is our yellowy gold that we have there as well. But obviously with this new white and black combination. And again, it goes throughout the shorts, as we mentioned previously as well. It's striking, Seb. It's still got the chevrons as well on the... On the on the shoulder. We're talking about, you know, collector's items. We're talking about getting involved in a piece of hashtag history. Boom. This is perhaps is the most historic Boom. shirt we've ever done because it's a brand new colour scheme. Unbelievable. Right, now it's my absolute pleasure to show you guys the brand new hashtag United Leisure range. I absolutely love this stuff, guys. So happy to share it with you. You can see it modelled by some of your hashtag United favourites here. So many items. We've got t-shirts, jumpers, hoodies. We've got joggers. We've got bucket hat, first ever hashtag United bucket hat, which is reversible, by the way, two different designs. We've got a bobble hat, we've got a baseball cap, we've got a shoulder bag. Whatever the occasion, you can now represent hashtag United in style. You're going to see me and people around the club wearing a lot of this stuff going forward, and it's all available on the same website that the hashtag United home and away kits are available on. The link is in the description. Enjoy. It is mental where we are as a club. Uh, in oh, five yeah. years, right, from literally playing at New River, like having Freeman crossbar challenges to now playing in the FA Cup, doing these crazy things, right? We would never have thought it was possible. Who, who would have, right? Where could we be in 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? This is a part of history right now. We're living in it. It's so exciting, mate. It's so cool. And, yeah, guys, if you're sharing it with us, get yourself one of these kits. Get all of them if you can. Who's the guy? Leo. 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 Leo Mendoza. Leo Mendoza's got every single kit. He, he literally... He's, not, he's trying to buy like... He's Wembley got kits I haven't got. Shirts. He's got kits I haven't got. He's trying got. to get training shirts, like all these kinds of things. But yeah, I mean... And, and the other thing to stress, Seb, as well, is that every shirt we've ever produced is sold out. Yes. So like oh, in, yeah. In, in, absolutely. In every, and we've always, um, you know, we've always been in charge of the retail ourselves. It's something that Hummel have taken off of us now in, in a great way. Because it allows way. us to be much more expansive. You know, we can sell more shirts than before. It's basically more people working on it than we had doing it ourselves in our old HQ. Um, but every time we've had shirts, we've bought a certain amount and they've sold out. Gone. And I wouldn't be surprised if this happens again, guys. So I'm saying to you now, if you want these shirts, get hold of them now. Get a pre-order in. Obviously, all the details you need is on the website and the link in the description. Um, the, the, this is the shirt that is for sale. So you've got the, the away shirt and you've got the home shirt with the QR code on. And as we mentioned, just like with the home shirt, this will update in the season once the new sponsor is revealed and you'll have that QR code swapped for the actual sponsor. Also, we've got the up the tags on the back of this shirt as well. That's on the back of both the home and away shirt. Unbelievable stuff. Our teams will be wearing these shirts during pre-season as well. So if you want to actually come down and see them live, 
make sure you check out our socials for when our next preseason game. We might be coming towards your area as well. The women are traveling all over the shop. The men doing the similar. And obviously we've got home games as well. So lots to look forward to. It's all kicking off, Seb. It's barely it's going to be a big year. Massive. A year. big year. Biggest year in our history. Big five years. It's going to be a big 50 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're going to leave it here, guys. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for the support that's allowed us to do what we're doing. It's allowed us to sign deals like this Hummel deal, like the deal with Fridays, like the deal with the secret sponsor soon to be revealed. So, yeah, if you're happy to see the club kicking on as ever, drop a like on the video. Make sure you check out the link in the description to the website, the Hummel site, where you can get this stuff. If you're a hashtag fan, you need these shirts. Simple as that. Only time we'll ever have our first ever Hummel shirt. Yep. We're going to have a lot more Hummel shirts over the next few years, but this will always be the first. And it'll be our first away shirt with the white and black. I mean, I could talk all day about it, Seb. You know what we're saying now. Check out the website. Subscribe to the channel for more updates coming soon. And don't forget to scan this QR, scan code. QR code. Scan it. Get involved. Not only is there prizes to be won, I want to see who figures out who the hell is sponsoring us. Big, big shout out to you, Seb, again, for doing these deals, getting them over the line. Massive thanks to Hummel as well for all the support they've given us so far. Big year ahead. See you soon. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. Don't forget to QR code it. Up the tags. <laughs>